Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's past paper is taken from January 2020 paper 2. Let us begin. Compound C is a sweet smelling compound which is often used in flavoring and perfumes. Here we have compound C. State the name of compound C and the homologous series to which it belongs. The name of compound C is methyl propanoate. And the homologous series that it belongs to is the esters. Before I go on, let us quickly look at how the name methyl propanoate was assigned. When naming esters, the part belonging to the alcohol is named first and it is named as an alkyl, which means that this part, the carbon, that is next to the oxygen, the single bond oxygen, that would be the, the alkyl uh, group. And so that part is named first. And because there is one carbon within the chain, then it is methyl. The acid part is named after along with the name O8. So one, two, three. So that's the three carbons, which is propan. And this group right here, for the ester is O8, so it's propanoid. So that is how we came up with the name methyl propanoid. That's one way of looking at it. On to question two. Draw the fully displayed structural formula of the two molecules that are produced when compound C is hydrolyzed. When compound C is hydrolyzed, the bond is broken right here and so one part belonging to the acid and one part belonging to the alcohol and we already know which part belongs to the alcohol and acid based on how we based on what was said when naming esters so one two three so that's the acid part Filling in the hydrogens, do not leave them out. It can be costly in terms of marks. And that part is propanoic acid. And the next part is the alcohol. And of course, add in the OH. And since it's one carbon, then it is methanol. Okay? Moving on to part B, ethanol is widely used as a solvent for making cosmetics and perfumes. State the name of compound D and identify the reagents, reagent and conditions necessary for ethanol to be converted into compound D. The name of compound D, there's an acid group and there are two carbons within that acid, within that compound. So it is ethanoic acid and the conditions and reagent necessary to convert ethanol which will be written as an equation C2H5OH aqueous to produce ethanoic acid which is CH3 COOH so that's how you write the formula the CH3 then the COOH and the C212 H5 then the OH okay to take ethanol to ethanoic acid requires an oxidizing agent and when you one way you can write oxidizing agent is two square bracket with an O in the middle and underneath it you can specifically write the oxidizing agent which in this case it is potassium dichromate Cr2O7 aqueous this right here is what we call the breathalyzer test that is what police officers use to determine if someone is drinking or over drinking while driving and so forth when potassium dichromate oxidizes ethanol there is a color change from green 
sorry, from orange, from orange to green. O R A N G E to green. So that's the color changes observed when potassium dichromate oxidizes ethanol. So we can look for that to the, to know that. Uh, acetic acid vinegar or ethanoic acid is produced acetic acid or vinegar is the is the is the colloquial name or it's the the alias for ethanoic acid so the conditions are oxidizing agent using potassium dichromate and some amount of heat may be used not a lot but some amount may be used explain how part two explain how ethanol can be made from the fermentation of sugar include the chemical equation for the overall fermentation so i'll do this in steps so step one add the yeast so we're going to add the yeast to sugar to the sugary solution add the yeast to sugary solution or glucose solution remember it, any the yeast can be added to any foods once they are sugared it will ferment it solution part two the yeast the yeast then breaks down the sugar or the glucose anaerobically to produce ethanol and carbon dioxide and some amount of energy so the yeast breaks down the glucose anaerobically Anaerobically means the absence of oxygen. So let me put that in bracket. Absence of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide ethanol and energy. The next part, which is very important, the carbon dioxide is bubbled off into the air, bubbled off into the air to prevent any buildup of pressure. If that, if that doesn't happen, the system will explode due to the, um, the increase in pressure so that is very important for the carbon dioxide gas to be to, to bubble off into the air the next part after the ethanol concentration reaches a certain percent it starts to destroy the yeast so after the ethanol concentration concentration right that has con C abbreviation for concentration reaches a certain level it starts to kill starts to destroy the yeast Next part, the ethanol is collected by fractional distillation. Ethanol is collected by fractional distillation. Distillation. And that can be bottled, stored, put on the shelf, and so forth. And then 
this is where we write the reaction C C6 for glucose C6 H12 O6 that's aqueous to produce two moles of ethanol C2 H5OH H5 OH and aqueous CO2 and energy carbon dioxide gas plus energy here you can put the yeast above it and anaerobically underneath it to indicate the condition that it took place anaerobically so that would be the overall equation all right and on to the last part of this section this question state one other use of ethanol apart from consumption or drinking ethanol is used as a fuel ethanol can also be used as disinfectant disinfectant ethanol can also be used to preserve preserve body tissues body tissues okay so we have come to the end of this video thank you for tuning in uh, remember to like share and subscribe keep going happy studying and see you soon